Welcome back to Bloodstock 2015 and we're joined by Claire and Danny from Dead Label. How are hey, you how's it going? We're good, yeah? Good, thank All you. Good. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to Bloodstock and obvious question I know, but how did the set go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it went really well. Really can't complain. We, we were here since Friday, so we were kind of getting a bit anxious because we weren't playing until the Sunday. We are on at about 12.40, so we are kind of maybe a bit concerned. People still getting up, you know, hard at it on Saturday night, but uh, yeah, there was people as far as I could see, so... We had a good set, played well, can't complain, so yeah, happy days. Do you get that uh, healthy bit of nerves? Or what yeah, you yeah, yeah. Well, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get like it, like the whole weekend, it's kind of anxiousness, and then yeah, maybe about an hour before you go on, you get a bit nervous, but once you hit the first note, it's all that's over. It. Yeah, yeah. You're in your zone. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Brilliant. Are you don't mind me saying you come across as what I call a proper live band. Yeah. Thank you. That's <laughs> Thank you. Want. If That's I could put it like that. That means we did a good job. <laughs> and you must, it must give you a buzz. So you, you thrive off that energy, I guess. Yeah, right? well, that's basically what we live for, you know. That's what we're working towards is to be able to constantly play good shows and, and just live off the live show because that's that's all we want to do even if it's a bar if it's a full bar then we're happy you know what i mean we don't care if it's main stage fucking download or some bar with 50 people in it but we need that energy so yeah yeah you know, even you say that bar with 50 people but i mean you've, you've played some shows quite far away recently haven't you? even in yeah. poland and slovakia and places yeah yeah we did how was how was that Awesome. We did. We started the tour with a, a festival called Aggressive Music Festival, uh, which we played two years previous, and um, we played a lot later this time. And it was, it was absolutely awesome. It's a great festival. And then we just kind of, because we were going to drive that far, we just booked some gigs kind of in the well, what felt like surrounding areas on a map, but like a pretty <laughs> far drive. Um, Better routing um, the next time. Yeah, like Kra Krakow was crazy. It was like two floors down underneath this. Kind yeah, of pub it was almost like a dungeon. But yeah, it was a weird cave, but, but there was loads of people crammed into it. A great show there. That must have been hot. Yes. Yeah, oh, oh man. So we played at one place in uh, Bratislava. It was 40 degrees and they had no AC. Uh, we actually thought we were going to pass <laughs> out, but we survived. So. Yeah. <laughs> just drinking water, like just go yeah. non-stop with it. Yeah, it's, it's great like there, and they're really because uh, the English isn't great in a lot of the, the towns we go to. It's straight up like just you know. They just give it socks when you're playing and then thumbs up, shake your hand and <laughs> yeah. you know, straight into it. So really yeah. enjoying it, yeah. Prior to that, didn't you, didn't you do a bit of a mini run around the States as well? Yeah, well, it was pretty big. We did like seven weeks. Uh, it was meant to be a mini kind of around recording the album. We'll do a few gigs and it turned into, we did like, we, I think we drove through 30 states and we played in like 20 states or something yeah. like that. And, yeah, such a fast country. Oh, oh man, you, you don't understand until you get there. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, but we just kind of went to just to do the record. The visa was three months long, so once the record was done, we were like, fuck it. Got a van, hit the road, and yeah. fucking just made it happen. Get it out there. Yeah, mm. fucking ups and downs, highs and lows, but that's how it goes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was really cool. It was really, like, the States is like a continent more so than a country. So, like, <laughs> going to one state, and you're like, okay, this is this state is like this, and the people are like this. And, you go to a different state, you may as well be in a whole other different country. country. Like the yeah. rules are different, the roads are different. Like Colorado, you could have like a bag of weed in your car and you're totally fine. Then Utah, like you can't even have a beer in your car, like, yeah. like in your car, not drinking a beer in your car. Texas is like the size of Germany, so you could probably do a whole tour just in Texas if you wanted. To. <laughs> we did like 10 days in Texas all together. They're, they're very much into Texas. Every, everything's bigger in Texas, everything's that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and Boston was really cool as well. They caused the whole Irish thing. That suit landed like we could have been the worst band in the world. Like, they would have enjoyed it. <laughs> Just looked it yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had a good shout out. Yeah, it's awesome. really yeah. cool. Uh, you got the second album, Throne of Bones, due for release mm -hmm. soonish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, when are we likely to see it? Uh, I would say gonna... probably in the next two months. Yeah. It's just kind of finishing touches now, making sure it gets released in the right way. Yeah. But uh, yeah, everything's ready. Artwork's done by uh, Ken Adams. He did uh, Lamb of God. And uh, it was recorded by and uh, produced by uh, Chris Wakestraw. He's done loads of like, Black Label Society, Megadeths, and loads of big bands. So we're super happy with the production, super happy with the artwork. We just uh, can't wait for it to get out there. So. And has it been a long process? It has actually, yeah. Like, I mean, from writing the songs to getting over to the States, to recording it there, to getting the artwork done. It is a long process, but a lot longer than we'd like. Like, you know, we want, we want like, you know, the fans that we do have to get it as soon as they can. But, you know, 
it's just part part of the part of the job, I suppose. So yeah, but uh, we feel like everything we've been doing has been leading up to this record, so we're super happy about it. Whatever happens with it, so. Do, do you find sort of recording can it be very sort of stop and start, or did you manage to keep it? Um, the recording flowing? process was actually really nice, and um, we did the drums in uh, East West Studios, um, and it, like that the drum room in there is unreal, and we were treated very well. There's like an assistant to help you just, you know put moon gel and stuff and things and uh, then we did the rest of the recording in snore and you know everyone was really efficient like um, the days we, we were worked well within the, the hours we were given we, yeah, we finished like a day early a day or two early, early so, so. Great. yeah no that that part was like we yeah. we really like being in the studio like, yeah some bands we, hate it some bands you know think it, it's under the microscope and they hate being in the studio we fucking love it yeah. first time you get to fucking hear it back without being able to play it yeah. so yeah. we fucking yeah, yeah. So, so. so we every day we're in the studio we love it yeah. Can't wait to get to it. So, yeah. Yeah. Did, did you have uh, songs that? I mean, you can have a, you have the greatest song in the world, but if it doesn't fit with the rest of the songs on the album, uh, yeah, there is a bit of like that, that. But for us, we, there's only eight tracks on the album because we kind of went for a quantity of a quality. Yeah. We really feel like each song stands alone. You know, no one song sounds like the other while still honing in on our own sound, which I think yeah. was the most important thing. Plus the fact that you know we're working nine to fives to fund our band and really you know working hard to get it. We don't have all the time in the world, so no, we no, just no. went for eight tracks of our best foot forward and do the best we can do. So yeah. yeah. Will, do, will the sound will, will the sound differ from Sense of Slaughter at all? Is it? Yeah, it will differ. Yeah. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Like more so just uh, well the production side of things definitely is it's a huge step up, but I think like. The, what we're actually trying to achieve sound-wise, we're, we're on it now, whereas at Sense of Slaughter we were grasping after what we were looking for, so it's kind of a lot, yeah. a lot, a lot yeah. really found our sound, as such you could say, with the new record. Yeah. Yes. That's part of it, the journey of the band, yeah. though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, like I said before, like if you're involved in a very particular type of scene, like if you say from the get-go, oh, I want to be in a hardcore band, or I want to be in a death metal band, it's easy to find your sound then, you know, but we don't want to be any in any particular scene, we just want to have our own sound, so that's why the first record does sound a bit like, you know, just chasing something, but uh, we really feel like we definitely hit the nail on the head now, and it's just progressing from here on, so, yeah. Excellent, excellent. So what's, um, what's next after the Bloodstock experience now, then? Are you got some more sort of local shows to come up? Or? Yeah, we have uh, two shows with Gojira, actually, in Ireland at the end of the month, just like in two weeks, so, yeah, one in uh, Belfast and one in Dublin, and we're main support, so. We're a big Gojira fan, so it's kind of dream come true gigs in Ireland, so I'm really lucky to get those. And then uh, after that, yeah, I think we were playing a big festival in Sweden, and we're making our way there, probably, again, pubs and clubs, and hopping on any tours we can there. Just keeping the ball rolling, I guess, yeah. yeah playing with the Heart of a Coward and Beholder in September oh, yeah. as well, so that's so a good few awesome <laughs> bands we get to see for free, which is kind of cool as well. Yeah. <laughs> And with festivals like this, um, now you've played, you've been dragged around the media a bit now. <laughs> it's, um, you get to chill out a bit, or is it? Yeah, definitely, PR, because PR. like I said before, there's a lot of anxiousness coming up just before we play, because we've been here since Friday. Now it's like, let's chill out, have a few beers, hit the bumper cars probably, yeah. and fucking. We're going to have an Irish up. bumper car championship. Like our, our friend Fayez does a lot of photography on the main <laughs> stage. We have him book, like, he's like, when he's finished working, championship. Irish you, you can I'll be the like. drunk guy lying in the corner at 12 o'clock. So. <laughs> it sounds as if there could be some broken limbs involved. Oh, yeah, well, I hope Don't not. Don't break but... any fingers, you guys. <laughs> you can break your leg. That might actually yeah. get us some sympathy. <laughs> you do a day brawl with yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. seems to work, actually. Yeah, yeah do that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be easier, actually, just have to sit there and play. <laughs> Wheel you around. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, we're going to. Uh, a lot of our friends came over. Uh, for the weekend and we've kind of basically just been no crack whatsoever because we've been really just focused on doing the best we can for the gig. Yeah, we're just, we don't want to play hungover, we know, like, that's the one thing we're here to do, so we do that yeah. fresh and then we can get fucked. Yeah. So <laughs> now we're going to have fun with our friends. Yeah. <laughs> well, it just remains to me to say thank you very much indeed for your time. Uh, oh, absolutely, yeah, I really enjoyed busy. the interview. Thank you very much. And um, well, best of luck, we can't wait for the new album. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank Sweet, you. man, thank you. Thank you so much.